and welcome to this week's video. This week we will be talking about Christian witches. I know it sounds like an oxymoron, but just hear me out. So we're going to talk about my views on the legitimacy of Christian witches. Um, what some of them have said their practices are, etc. Um, I am not a know-it-all, like, expert on this subject, so if I get anything wrong, I am very, very sorry. Um, so please uh, correct me or let me know. I only know a little bit on the basics. So, let's get into it. So, Christian witches have become more talked about since the whole hexing, which was actually a binding spell, on Trump. When Lana Del Rey, who had come out as a Catholic for most of her career, um, started being more witchy and um, took part in this, then people started questioning the legitimacy of that and if pe if she was a legitimate witch and to that I will say yes and this is why there is a difference between being a witch doing magic doing spells uh, and ritualistic things versus actually being Wiccan or even just pagan uh, Thalamic etc because or even New Age, because those are like actual religions, which yes, there's a lot of leeway and openness depending on if you're solitary or what your coven says, but those are essentially religions. Witchcraft and magic and crystal use and herb use and oil use and all of that and candle magic, all that is not a religion it is a more of a way of life and a way of contacting whatever deity or deities that you contact or to be able to do what it is that you want a lot of christians for example follow the law of the attraction or the secret which is basically derived out of the idea of magic and what people that are witches do so and that also brings in the point as to why a lot of Wiccans or Pagans won't actually call themselves witches. Um, and that there is that divide in the name witch and Wiccan, etc. Um, so with that said, you can be a Christian and be a witch. And that doesn't mean that, oh no, the witches are infiltrating our church and... La -di -da -di -da. From the beginning of Catholicism, for example, there has been essentially witchcraft and magic being used. They took a lot of the rituals and, I mean, with the wine, the whole setup, and having a... a altar for Jesus, Mary, God, all, and the saints and all that is essentially the same thing that pagans or witches have been doing for their deities for thousands upon thousands of years prior. Now, the reason it's such an oxymoron and comes off as so difficult and why a lot of Wiccans and pagans like myself won't accept it and why a lot of Christians and Catholics will totally not accept or get angry at those Christians that use crystals or call themselves Christian witches is that there's a long history between the pagans or rather the witches and who actually had the religious belief system like whether it be Celtic, Greek, etc., Roman versus the Judeo-Christian ideology. Um, St. Patrick is a great example of this. Um, the whole celebration of St. Patrick's Day was 
him driving out the snakes, which were the pagans. So it can seem very oxymoron and weird of an idea to actually think about. Another reason it could kind of seem odd is that like extreme evangelical Christians, especially like your TV evangelicals um, and like Baptists and just the extreme ones, Wells Lutherans, which are the Wisconsin extreme Lutherans, um, all condemn witchcraft in any form and see it as Satan t Satanism. And there's so much confusion between Wicca, witchcraft, and Satanism. And um, they intertwine that. And they talk about how evil Wiccans are and how evil pagans are and how evil magic is and going to a tarot reader is evil and using the herbal magic or the candle magic is evil but when you light a candle with Mary on with the Virgin Mary on it or a particular saint like Archangel Michael and you're saying a prayer that's essentially magic so as a pagan or eclectic Wiccan, solitary, I have to accept the fact that they are using essentially magic and are witches. And if and those who come out and are strong enough to say, I am a Christian witch, and they go a step further and do for more magical things, I'm going to have to accept that this is a legitimate thing. And because witchcraft and the religion itself are two separate things that we have to be accepting to this. Um, it's just their gods, their deities are different than mine. Uh, for example, those who are more in the Catholic line are going to um, work, do magic and spells in hopes to reach a saint, as I said prior, or the Virgin Mary, or Jesus, or God. Uh, other Christians will use Jesus and God and in some cases the Virgin Mary uh, So we kind of have to accept that and then there's Gnostic Christianity um, and they're a little more open already and I guess from what I've read and what I've Listened to on YouTube, which I'm going to put some Christian witches YouTube channels below uh, Is a little more open to it um, and I mean, a lot of people already knew about like a lot of people who are Mexican and say they're Catholic, um, also do some of the old folk Mexican magic, which is highly condemned by the uppers in the Catholic church in Mexico, but a lot of them do it in secret already, uh, because it's part of their culture and their folk lore, I guess you could say is the best word. Um, I mean, I went to Catholic school for a few years and when I was growing up and I can look back and I can see how they themselves are already using magic. So if these people want to call themselves a Christian witch, then by all means go for it. I know that there are Bible verses that say st stuff about like, witches and doing magic and all this kind of stuff is evil and is going to send you to hell and you got to be aware of it and there's stories all around it um but at the same time there's like a line so from what i've read and from the people that i've worked with while doing tarot readings or making products for them who still are christian um is that a lot of them are more kitchen witch oriented, hedge witch oriented, and uh, also more of the creating an altar, uh, but instead of using, let's say, Aphrodite or Hecate or something like that, they're using God, Jesus, the Virgin Mary, etc. So instead of having the god and the goddess and then whichever 
particular ones that you are trying to invoke, they have that instead. There is a book actually on Lullawin's website, which kind of made me even more accepting of it. Or there's a few books, but there's one that I'm going to bring up um, that I'm prob I'm going to probably try and get to sometime this year because I have a long list of books to read. But um, the fact that they have. Christian witch books on their site being the biggest pagan <laughs> like book source out there uh, kind of tells me that it's something that maybe I should think about accepting and look past the history of what the Christians and the Catholics etc have done to the pagans in the past and rem remember that that's a part of it a part of that religion those are particular people and it may be the larger part of that religion but if there are a few people that are straying away and are bold enough to say hey listen I'm a Christian witch I shouldn't hold that against them they just have a different deity that they worship instead of myself so the book that I'm looking at is called the path of a Christian witch uh, this product summary, according to their website, is a unique mix of m memoir and how-to that includes practical daily pagan rituals, uh, and it's an inspiring book that shows how one woman blended Christian traditions with the magic and beauty of a Wiccan practice. Raised in a Catholic family yet drawn to paganism, she, uh, Adelina St. Clair spent many years questioning and soul-searching before she found a way to blend aspects of Wicca and Christianity into a vibrant and loving belief system. Filled with personal antidotes, this book tells the story of her journey and self-discovery and revelation from her initial fear and guilt to her ultimate, ultimate sense of peace and joy. So that's kind of what I was basically trying to get to. It, it's like they're kind of mixing, kind of like how New Age is like, a blend of various old spiritualities like Buddhism with a little bit of Christianity for some people and some people have some of the pagan and the Native American shamanism aspects it's just a new um, route of Christianity which I think is kind of cool uh, so I, I think we should accept it in this book it also it has like an outline of like the main things that it talks about, which is praying the rosary, sacred space, the wheel of the year. So teaching them the wheel of the year, which I think is really cool and important too, because then them as Christians can kind of see how their holidays have been kind of derived from the Wiccan or pagan holidays. Um, the femininity of God, which I think is pretty cool goddess worship so bringing in the goddess aspect and i did read um in one article that at, at, uh, this particular christian witch wanted to have a goddess and god so their goddess was the virgin mary and their god was god and then they also had a space for jesus which i thought was pretty unique and um creative um the teachings of christ of course and magical practice and then a little information about monothe monotheism versus polytheism so i i would recommend that even if you aren't a christian which even if you are just um like myself where you're wiccan or pagan um i think it's kind of cool to think about and i i honestly think a lot of the people that i associate with in my empath circles and um other psychic aspects of my life happens to actually be Christian witches. I, I, I know a lot of them are not. Sorry about that. I have my camera sitting on a pumpkin outside. <laughs> so, what I was saying is, yeah, I know a lot of them are more into the Christian religion or have come from that, but never have really put themselves into an actual 
dogmatic ideology or more of an open mind like open set thing that they call themselves so they most likely could be it might be on the road for christian witch but just don't want to call themselves that you don't know i i do know that um a lot of people that do go to psychics and mediums and tarot readers and have bought my products have been christians um so I partly made this video to kind of talk about the irony of it because I did make a video on um, things that people get wrong about witchcraft and a lot of it came from like radicalized Christians. Um, so the, it, it's kind of like the alter to that. And I really didn't have anything outlined or prepared because I wanted it to just be my thoughts and to intuitively let my feelings about it come out. So I'm going to learn a little more about this um, to accept them into my circle and into my life. And I do know that a couple witches um, that I follow, for example, who either do astrology or have YouTube channels are Christian witches. Uh, or they don't label themselves that and they just call themselves witchy or witches uh, including um, the person that really inspired me to do a YouTube channel uh, who I talked about a long time ago I don't really know what she refers to herself as these days so I'm not going to just really say who she is because I'll, I'll just say it like Joanna DeVoe I know that she uses a Christianity into her into some aspects of it um, and, but she does call herself witchy and a witch, um, but I don't know if she calls herself a Christian witch, but what I'm saying is that there's so many different elements and we need to understand that there's a difference between witch, witchcraft and a particular religion. So you could even be like agnostic or atheist and be a witch. Like I've heard of that. So I think we should be open-minded and accept it. I'm going to put um, links below to uh, YouTube channels that are small that are particularly based on or about my size or a little bigger or somewhat bigger because they've been around longer um, that are based just on Christian witchcraft. Um, I had the names. Uh, there's Valerie the Love, there's Christo Witch, and then there's Christian Witches, and I'm going to put their YouTube channels below. One of them actually has how you can set up a Christian altar. But again, keep in mind, every Christian witch is different. Just like every Wiccan can be different. So just keep that in mind. Um, I was going to talk about my sales for the month and uh, remind everyone that my Samhain ritual, ritual kits are out on my Etsy page. There is a sale though that's 25% off if you spend $20 or more until October 5th, which is the full moon. Um, so I would get on that because you can get your full Samhain ritual kit or you know, attack the panic, anxiety, or protection kit or something bigger and save some money. Uh, but I'll talk about my other sales for my tarot readings next time because this has already been a longer video than I thought it would be. Either way, though we might have been hated on by Christians or still get hated on by Christians, we might have been killed by Christians, women might have been killed by Christians just for coming off as an excuse to be witches even though they weren't witches. I would accept these women and some men it's mainly women that I've come across into our circle in life or at least think about it so that's just my thought I'm not gonna be a Christian witch at any time because I don't buy into it like Christianity but it is what it is and I'll see you all next time I love you all and I won't be making videos as often because of grad school, but the rest of the videos this month will probably be Samhain or Halloween related. So, see you next time. I love you all. Check out my links. Subscribe if you have not yet done so. Press the bell button. Share. All that good stuff. And, yeah. Bye. <laughs>